In this daily dose of public speaking wisdom, you're going to pick up a really cool trick that will help you maintain control of your Q&A sessions. In tip number 271, I talked about how to set up your Q&A sessions so that it wouldn't run long or that you wouldn't get people asking strange questions that threw you off track. Here's a great tip, and I picked this up from Hall of Fame speaker Patricia Fripp. Whenever you open the floor for questions, here's what you say. What are your short, specific questions? That's it. What you've done by saying those words is you've set the stage. You're telling people your question needs to be short, and it needs to be specific. If you've ever conducted a question and answer period, you know that people will get off track very easily. They start rambling by setting up your session with the phrase, what are your short specific questions? You put the audience on notice that you're going to stop them if they start to ramble, if their question becomes too long. When I've shared this tip with groups, occasionally somebody will say, well, don't you come across as being a little bit too arrogant or standoffish or, you not put in a positive light, my experience has been no. Most audiences laugh because they get it. Most people sitting in front of you realize there are some individuals in the group who will dominate the floor if you let them. They appreciate the fact that you're taking control right away. Try this out. Set up your Q&A by saying, what is your short specific question? And then hold the audience to that if they get off track. Talk with you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.